It's been maybe a day since um, we sat in this car and there was a spider web. So I really hope I don't find a spider mid-drive. Anyway, we're going to Canberra. We went to Canberra not even two weeks ago. Yeah. But we need to go swap this car for a different car. It's a whole thing. It's a whole thing. We won't get into it. It's not that important. Um, but we're going back to Canberra and this time we're doing more than just seeing family. So we're actually going to vlog it because we're going to be doing some Canberra stuff. Sorry, I just changed the angle a bit. It looks nicer. Um, for those who don't know, I'm from Canberra. I was born there. So we know some cool things to do. I've yeah. made Chrissy visit a lot of times. And my mum's from Canberra, so I've already visited a lot of times before we met. Yeah, and we're going down for... I mean, yes, to swap the car, but we're also luckily going down during one of my favourite times of Canberra, which is the Enlightened Festival. Yeah. Um, so we will show you some stuff from Canberra, some cool things to do. And um, first we got to get down there. It's like a 300 kilometre drive. Yep. Should take us like three-ish hours. So, so let's see you in three hours, I guess. Let's go. got to Canberra, we did all the changing cars, drama, I don't Debacle. know. Now we're in another car. Yep. We're in my car now. Yeah, Catherine <laughs> bought this car off her dad. So now we have all of this space. Look at that huge back seat. Yes. Um, and we are off to do our first actual, like Canberra thing, thing of yeah. the trip. We are going to the National Arboretum. You can walk around, it has a nice garden-y sort of thing, and it has a really good view. Yeah. So that's the current plan. Tomorrow, me and the family are all taking Chrissy on a surprise. Yeah, Catherine saw a sign for something, and she won't tell me what it is. Yeah, just because I thought it tomorrow. would be fun, and mum and dad want to come, so it's just going to be a whole little family thing. Yeah, so you'll find out with me tomorrow what that is. Um, but yeah, for now, we're going to the Arboretum, and I will show you some... Canberra scenery as we drive there. <laughs> Might see some kangaroos. Maybe. from our travels but we are still cheap ass girlies <laughs> <laughs> we gotta be gonna have to leave aren't we <laughs> yeah well onwards we just went up to the viewpoint near where we parked but it was so windy that we did not bother saying anything because yes. you would not have been able to hear us. No, but there's some really cool things. You can basically see all of Canberra. Yeah. Like you can see all of it that matters anyway. There's like the Telstra Tower. I don't know what it's called now. The Canberra Tower? I don't know. I don't know what it's called, yeah. And um, the lake and the fountain was going at the moment. It doesn't always go, but that was quite cool. Yeah, you can also see like the top of Parliament House. Yeah, you can. Um, for those of you who don't know, Catherine probably can explain this better, but Canberra is entirely like planned yeah like it didn't this it didn't develop naturally as a settlement no it's one of the first things i learned in school it it was designed by a woman but then because it was designed in like the 1900s early nine no a early, late 1800s right i think it was 1901 yeah 1901 yeah so, so late 1800s yeah um 
she put it through as her husband's name. So unfortunately, Walter Burley Griffin is known as the designer of Canberra, even though it was his wife. <laughs> yes. Do you know her name? No. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll, we'll put it on the screen. <laughs> so the lake that we could like that you could see from those clips at the top is like designed. It's like it's kind of like an S shape almost. Yeah. Um, I, through like a big chunk of Canberra. I hope we can get up to Mount Ainsley. If we can, you can really see the layout and how it's like designed. Yeah. Um, also. The Arboretum was actually a terrible first place to come because you can't get here by public transport. So only bother coming here if you can drive because to be it's honest, not worth it if you I don't would have a car. I would I would almost say don't bother coming to Canberra if you can't drive. <laughs> like if you don't it's, have a car. You're not wrong, you're not wrong. Yeah. There's not a whole lot that you can do. The public transport system is not No, I think it's not extensive. Let's say that. Definitely the kind of place you should come with a car or hire a car if you can. Australian plant it's like based off it and then over here is the coolest part look like acorns I think they're actually meant to be gum nuts not I acorns I really do think they're acorns maybe I'm not sure but they're so cool I really like this playground if there was a kids on it I would probably play in it good morning hello it is 6 27 in the morning and we're doing it. We are. It's it's balloons day. Yes. I don't know how much we explained about the balloons before. Sorry about the light. It's obviously yeah. still pretty dark. Yeah. No, we haven't said anything. It's part of the Enlighten Festival. Um, but it kind of happens at the end of Enlighten. Like it Enlighten at finishes. The very end. Which actually, side note for a moment. As we said before, we were in Canberra two weeks ago. And we actually came to the main part of Enlighten then. We just didn't film any other camera. We were like seeing family and stuff. Yeah. Um, but we did film a bit of Enlighten, which is, um, it's like a light festival. So if, if you know of Vivid in Sydney, it's, it's like, like Canberra's Vivid. version of Vivid. <laughs> um, so we went to that. It was really cool. They basically put lights up on all the like important buildings in yeah. Canberra. Um, and there was one on parliament house which was like our favorite one which was like a, yeah, a lego thing building by, um, brick, man. brick man from australian lego masters yeah um so that was really cool the balloon festival is my favorite festival in canberra maybe tied with florida but it's just basically a bunch of hot air balloons inflate um there's breakfast there's like music it's everyone's like happy and excited and everyone buys hot chocolates and it's so fun yeah so but we... it's very hard <laughs> to to come on a day they inflate because more often than not the wind causes them to cancel so a few years ago we tried to come and we were in the car on the way here and it was like the balloons have been cancelled unfortunately the um facebook page tells you they're inflating at 6 a.m they launch at 6 15. yeah so it's a real stretch to get you either here. have to if you live far away you have to be in the car and hope which we've done before or today we don't actually live that far away i mean it took us it took us about 15 minutes to get here yeah and so today we just woke up at 5 59 i checked my phone i saw an announcement and we just got in the car and left yeah i feel like we should just clarify we're not going in any of the balloons oh no that costs a lot of money we're just watching them take off and fly over the lake yeah um which is free yeah and also i don't think i'd ever get in a hot air balloon no i don't like how little control it has yeah um, but yes, we're going to watch the balloons, just in case, in case that wasn't clear. Yeah. I don't think we ever actually said that. Yeah.
every state, like pretty, lots of cool things going on. Everyone's, Everyone's here. Together. This is camera. That's literally the camera balloon. She's like, hey. I would get in trouble if I said that, but Catherine's from camera, so she's allowed to. It's true. But we're all here now, so at least we've got something going for us. Chrissy got a shot of the Wicked one going, which was the last one, and everyone liked the shoot. Yeah, it was very fun. It, it um, you know, continuing with the theme of hot air balloons are kind of dumb. It started taking off and was blowing the wrong way and blew into the car that is like owned by that those Incredible. people, and they had to like push back off it and try again. Incredible. Yes, and now we're gonna get some food, but it was so good. I love it. Yeah, it is really cool watching them inflate. And like, look at them all going up. I know, so it is really cool. If you're like somewhere else, you can like watch them fly over. Yeah, but you cool. you need to obviously know which way the wind's going. Yeah. So that you can position yourself. Um, but yeah, it's Aww. pretty cool. I'm so glad we're able to actually come and see them take off this. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this for a, a breakfast spot. Okay, now we are doing my favorite thing in Canberra, which is the lakes walk, which yeah. I have no idea how long it is. I think, well, it a depends how far kilometers. you go. Because you can go further, right? Yeah, you could go beyond the bridges, but most people, there's like two bridges and most people so just like, walk between yeah, them. Yeah, it creates a loop. But like, I think yeah. you could walk. Could you walk the entire way around the lake if you wanted? Probably, like, are there yeah. paths? I think so. It's a big ass lake, though. Yeah, it is. Um, um, so this is the area we were talking about yesterday that, like, I think is the nicest part of Canberra, and it's pretty easy to get to via public transport. Like, it's very accessible. This is a good spot for tourists. Yeah. Just do the lakes walk. It's lovely. You get to see the Carillion, which is like a bell Thing. tower <laughs> on an island, which is quite cool. Yeah. Um, it's got a lot of a like nice, nice views around it. A nice spot. And it's only 8 a.m. <laughs> and we're gonna walk around the lake. Yeah. I believe this is the parliamentary triangle maybe somewhere in there anyway in front this stalky thing is new parliament house the white building in front in fact is not the same building it's a different building that's closer to us it's old parliament house yeah they built the new one like directly, directly behind. behind it and a fun fact about canberra that really shows that it was designed is that the seat where the prime minister sits in new parliament house if you do a straight line all the way across the water, hold on, you cannot see it, but under oh, under Mount Ainsley is the War Memorial. It's and like, it's behind that wall. Yeah, you can't really see it. But a direct line from the Prime Minister's seat all the way to the War Memorial. There's a dome in the War Memorial, and in the dome is a um, body or like a it's the it's the it's grave, like grave of the unknown soldier yeah it's a grave but yes it's an unknown soldier it's meant to symbolize like all the people that died because of australia are like connected to the prime minister so he always has to like think of them and remember them yeah which they clearly don't but oh, no, they you don't, know the symbolism is there <laughs> it's, meant to, it's a symbol um so that's quite interesting and i do think new parliament house being built directly behind old parliament house is like to help the line yeah i wonder if the prime minister's seat is in the same spot in both parliament houses I yeah don't <gasps> is that a corgi puppy i think it is <laughs> quick side note one last side note quick on topic before we go to the side note of the corgi pup mount ainsley up there we might go there i hope we can this weekend um and then you can like really see like the layout of camera oh it's very cool God. all right corgi puppy now oh my god oh my god he has full size ears but not the full size body 
We, we have I no shame because I was too busy like <laughs> packing her. Her name was Lizzie. We have no shame when it comes to looking at pups. We'll just straight up stare at them, and then the owners are like, "Do you want to pat her?" And we're like, "Yes." <laughs> So sorry for my boring Canberra history. This is Blundell's Cottage. It's the oldest building in Canberra. And just for context, if you're European, <laughs> um, this is how you can tell how new Australia is. Well, new to white people. New to white people. <laughs> um, that cottage was built in the 1800s. <laughs> That's the oldest building in Canberra. To be fair, Canberra is younger than other parts of Australia. Yes. But not by a whole lot. Yes. So, I mean, it wasn't even Canberra when it was built, but it's the oldest building in this area. I didn't even know that. Yeah, we went there on a school trip. Very interesting. Um, we're just going to keep thinking about Lizzie. <laughs> done with the walk now we've started seeing dogs that we saw on the other side on this side so we're like <laughs> we're passing I saw this Dalmatian before yeah um, we're just this side of Amber has a lot of this is where all our museums and stuff are so we're passing the we're passing the I want to say National Gallery portrait it's, it's a something we're passing something that has a lot of sculptures out the front and yeah like this in, I I, this is one of my favorite gardens because there's like a garden out the front and every now and then i don't know when there might be actual times or it might just be random but there's like mist like a misting hour yeah um which is really nice in summer you can just walk through it and get cool but yeah it's such a nice part and it we is. are almost back to the start and how how far have we gone uh, 4.15 kilometers. Okay. So probably a four and a half. Yeah. How close are we? Four and a half to five kilometers. Yeah, I would loop. say. Not bad. No, it is a very nice walk. Yeah. Just it walking is. like along the lake. You do have to walk across the two bridges. Um, and then you're kind of near a road here, but it's not really like a major it's not one. That busy, so most of the time you're like away from the traffic. Yeah. Um, and it's just like people and bikes so and nice. dogs. It is really nice. And now we're up to the flag bit. Uh, it's not windy at all today. No, they're very um, flat. But we'll show you that as we walk past them. That's it. I would say about five kilometers. Yeah. Bridge to bridge. Yeah. And both ways are nice, but I do prefer the way we did it. I think it's nice like ending on the walk past the gardens or whatever. But yeah. both ways nice. We're headed back to the car. It's only about 9.30. And then we're gonna relax a bit and then have lunch and then go to the surprise. It's surprise time! I have no idea where we're going or what we're doing. I think I know it's like a 15 minute drive away, but that pretty much covers literally all of camera. Yay! Welcome. I knew it had something to do with dogs. <laughs> it had to, didn't it? Just the way Catherine said it yesterday. <laughs> I was like, I don't know what it is, but it's something to do with dogs. We're so very excited. excited. We're just watching a pup called Tequila at the moment, um, but the sheep keep eating, stopping to eat because they're so stupid. They keep forgetting that they're being herded, and then they're like, "Oh, food!" <laughs> and then they and then they see the dog again. They're like, "Oh, a dog!" And then they stop to eat again. It's very entertaining. But the dogs are very, are very good. They're very Such good cool. boys and girls. This one is is black and white, and she's very cute. I love Tequila, the pup. <laughs> Not to give them the alcohol. No. <laughs> I started eating before we could film them um, because they look too good, but we got scones. Scone time. I realized that I'm not on one point, I'm not on point five, so I'm very close. So, <laughs> also look at that pup in the background. I mean, obviously there's dogs everywhere, but like there's dogs. Look at them all. Everywhere. And look at that scone. Bailey's elected to cast his dog out to the right. And he's uh, running out fairly well. It's a good run out. He's uh, quite a handy dog, this little dog. Hello from our final Canberra day. Yeah, we are at the bus depot market, which is in Kingston. Is uh -huh. that right? It's like on the Kingston foreshore. So, like, 
around here is a lot of nice restaurants and cafes and then there's like some water just there this is and like they're just opposite the bougiest part of Canberra um we're currently standing outside a Canberra institution this is Broad Burger this is very famous in Canberra it started out as a um just a couple of guys maybe women I don't know just a couple of people making burgers in a red caravan like near here um, and it got so popular that they bought this cafe outside the old glassworks and it's been there ever since it's been years so definitely visit here and yes we are at the old bus depot markets which is only on 9 30 to 2 30 sundays and not sure about public transport links out here i'm going to be really unhelpful in camera because i just drive everywhere <laughs> as does every canberra yeah which is why there's no good public transport because no one would use it if you're into walking you can walk here like along there, yeah the you lake could from where we were yesterday. yeah we were literally within walking distance on the lakes walk yesterday so you could extend the walk and instead of cutting over the bridge you just walk beyond the bridge and then yeah. you're here so yeah you could also do that um, but yeah, we're just going to look around the market for like an hour and show you what's there. So as the name suggests, this market is in the old bus depot. Yes. Um, so it's just in like a giant kind of warehouse style building. I mean, it's kind of everything. There's food, yeah, there's, there's like produce, there's arts and crafts, yeah, there's, there's secondhand there's goods. Which I do love. Um, so it's just like a general market but it, it is really nice there is, there is lunch stuff here which we can film some of the things but we are going to a family lunch yes. so we will not be eating here. Sad, but we have eat. yeah we have before and some That's of the food is really good yeah. the food section is there's so many like different cuisines and by different I mean like different from what you normally find in Australia yeah I would say like I've never seen like Ethiopian and Lao and all what was it, like Jordanian? Before. Yeah, never. Um, very cool. Yeah, very interesting and like... Different. The, yeah, different. And then we, I think we've eaten a couple of them before. The Lao songs, Lao cuisine, I think it's called. Or Sao or something. Really, really yeah, good. So good. It's just like Thai, but yeah. a little different and very delicious. It is. And then we just had a quick look at the Latin one. And I so think good. next time we come here, we'll probably get that. Yeah, that looks It so looks good. really good. We've left the market. It was very good. We actually did end up buying stuff. Um, just some treats. Yes, we'll show you those once we get back in the car. Yes. Um, but for now, we're actually walking down to the water just to have a look at the view and... Just walk along it for just, a little yeah, bit. See what's going on down there. It is a really nice area and it's still like this really exemplifies Canberra. It's like the middle of the day on a weekend. <laughs> it is a little chilly and a bit sprinkly but there is no one know, it's really weird. out on this foreshore walk which is crazy to me. But that does mean if you lived here it would be very nice and peaceful. Yes. Okay, we're in the car. I'm in my mum's car. Room, room. <laughs> Who gets that? Not me, really. <laughs> this actually is my mum's car as well, so that's incredible. This is the showing what we got at the markets portion of the day. Um, I'm not going to take it out because I touched stuff and I don't want to touch this with my dirty hands, but I got a, oh yeah, salted caramel brookie. Delicious. And I got a gluten free. Just like, I, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, Shock just a classic cookie. cookie. Um, but it looks and smells really good. We're not actually going to eat these now. We're going to save them for our drive back to Sydney tomorrow. Because yes. at some point we're going to want a sweet treat. We need something. And then I got my parents some maple roasted pecans and dark chocolate. Yeah. This brand is very good. It's like an Australian, I mean a Canberran brand. It says they're made in Fishwick, which is just a suburb. Yeah. It's so cool. It's really cool. A lot of the stuff in the market obviously is like local. Yeah. Um, so either like people are like hand making it themselves or it's like a, a brand, but a local brand. Yeah. We will show you um, a nice view of Canberra tonight.
If we have time. If we get up there. We will, obviously you'll find out. If this is in, then we're going. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see you then. Also, do we like car vlogging? I like car vlogging. I like car vlogging because we can just put the... Although it works better in this car. We couldn't move because, like, this would slide all around the place. But I Well, like yeah, it. but obviously, like, I don't think you could film on my driving. Yeah. But no, I'm... I'm a fan. We did it. We've come up. The weather has not been great to us, but it's stopped raining now, so yes, actually, honestly, good timing. Yeah, we're up Mount Ainsley. Um, you can do a walk up here. I actually don't hate it, but it is quite hard. It's pretty steep. It doesn't take very long, maybe 30, 45 40 minutes, minutes yeah. but yeah, it's quite a hike. Yeah. Um, so we chose to drive. We chose to drive. Yes. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so from up here, you can get a view of pretty much all of Canberra. Yeah, it is really cool. And then like a good amount of the surrounding countryside because Canberra doesn't take up all of the view. Um, but yeah, it's really cool. So we will show it to you. All right, so you can see the line I was talking about yesterday. Straight from the dome, all the way to Parliament House, both of them. You can see clearly that there's two there. This is where we were this morning, Kingston Foreshore. This is the Lakes Walk. And then just there, that patch of light green is the Arboretum. So that's everything we did all in one view. You can also see the tower just up here where that bird just flew over. <laughs> but yeah, you really can see how small Canberra is. It's so tiny. But the mountains in the background are quite nice. Mm. So that's Canberra for you, but I really do like this view. Yeah, it is a nice view and you can really kind of see the layout. Um, but yeah, we haven't actually, we didn't even go to town, like our main shopping centre. Um, which Canberra I can... has, like the city centre is literally <laughs> just a Westfield. Um, it's not a it's Westfield. Not, it's not even a Westfield. I wish it was a Westfield because you have to pay for parking. Um, yeah, it's... It's just a shopping centre, but the nearby suburb of Braddon is kind of like Melbourne. It's hipster. Yeah. It's where all our like artisan cafes have started opening and like our gluten-free vegan caf um, restaurants, cafes, yeah. bakeries, all that is all down in Braddon and that's next to the shopping centre. So that's also quite nice. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's Canberra. <laughs> There's not a lot to do, but the stuff that there is to do is kind of nice. If you've yeah. got like a spare day or two. Yeah. But when you've done it all a lot, it does get, um... Repetitive? Yes. <laughs> this is probably my favourite spot in Canberra, I think. You reckon? Yeah. I like being able to see the whole view. Yeah. I don't know what mine is. Thanks for sharing. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we are going to finish our Canberra video here because we're just going to go back and then we head to Sydney tomorrow. Yeah. So we hope you have enjoyed seeing a bit of my home, a bit of the capital. Yeah. Honestly, most of the good bits. <laughs> Other than Sorry, Canberra. Questacon. Questacon's banging. And if you're a museums kind of person, yeah. there are some really good museums. There's lots here. of good museums. There's like the National Library, the National Gallery, National Portrait Gallery, War, War Memorial. Memorial is pretty interesting yeah. um so there's lots of museums but questacon is better than all of them agreed so thank you for watching um give us a like comment and subscribe follow us on instagram and we will see you soon with another video we'll see you then see you then bye, bye.